Hello friends, today we will repair N connector connection, also known as type N connector. That is a medium sized RF connector used to join coaxial cables. It was one of the first connectors capable of carrying microwave frequency signals. Even though it was invented in the 1940s, it's still used in radio communications, especially in measuring equipment. Just by touching the cable, you can feel that its screen is damaged because cable has been regularly bent and it can no longer provide a good quality connection. Both N type connectors are installed on EcoFlex 10 low loss coaxial cable. Since I don't have a spare end connector jack, I'll show you how to reuse the existing connector, saving time and money. Have you ever seen or got your hands on such connectors? If your answer is positive, then let me know in the comments. I want to know how many of you have some experience in radio communications. With two 17 and 18 sized wrenches, unscrew the same end type jack. It will take some time, but we have nowhere to hurry. Once the backing nut is unscrewed, carefully disassemble the end type connector. But remember, in which order parts should be assembled later on. Cut off the cable after the damaged parts so that we can work with a healthy cable. Cutting it won't be easy, because central conductor has several thick copper cores. I advise you to use pliers. Then remove the cable clamping ring, make it a little bit wider and put it on our healthy cable. We also remove the insulating rubber cylinder and place it on the new coaxial cable. Then use the core separating metal cylinder to measure how much rubber shield should be removed. Using a sharp paper knife, carefully remove the outer shield rubber. Then separate shield screen from central dielectric insulation. Then cut the central dielectric insulation ring almost at the folded edge of the screen. Now is the time for one of the most difficult tasks in this video. We need to remove the central wire cord pin needle so that we can put needle back on the new cable. If there's no central pin needle, then you'll have to buy a new end type connector. Then we need to get this central pin on the central core of the new cable. This will be the hardest task. When central pin is successfully placed in its position, solder it to the new cable. Then install a separating metal cylinder which separates the center core from the cable screen. Slide the rubber cover to its place, pushing those extra screen wires so that they don't bother us. After this, slide the backing nut back where it belongs. You can squeeze it using pliers for extra strength. Put the cover part on top of the connector and push it in until it reaches the backing nut. And then, of course, screw it tightly. If you use wrenches, then do it with feelings to avoid squeezing the cable too much. Here's the result. Renewed end type connector. You can repair such connector in 30 minutes and also save up some money and time. As always, big thanks for watching. Don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons to support my DIY activities. If you have something on your mind, then feel free to leave them in the comment section. And for now, ciao.